do you think Dangote will now give them in Nigeria that his refinery is going to start working? How long? If you, are, if you have to calculate by the smoke and the thickness of the smoke and all of that, how long do you think the refinery is going to start working now? 2026, I mean 2020. Last week, this guy was complaining about a cabal. He said the reason why his the refinery is not working is because some cabals in the oil sector, they are hey, egg by me, egg by me again, help me, all right. Dangote said there are some cabal in us oil sector, okay, that are fixing the price of crude oil so as to make it difficult for him. To turn on the engine of his refinery. And guess what? Person with the quota system billionaire, Omo Joba, is talking about Kaba. He's talking about uh, some goons in the oil sector. They don't want his refinery to start working. And he said they were fixing prices, Baba. Iba oni IOC, the goon uh, in Nigeria, IOC in Nigeria, the way they call them. How uh, about anyone then don't fix the price of uh, petroleum, barrel of petroleum? I mean, sorry, crude oil. When did the Kaba in Nigeria started fixing the price of crude oil for the world? But there are educated people who believed him. Ah, well, I know it too. There must be some Kaba in this country. You don't know. All these oil Kaba, oil marketers, they are the ones disturbing Dan Gote. Maybe not them go set the refinery on fire now. Nelamatu deal for the December by it or your no. One true emperor. Eh? That's what we have to deal with now. I will go and find out more. Don't let me kind of uh, stretch. I mean, stress it uh, any further. I'll go find out, find more. Let me find out more. The great youth of Nigeria. Great, 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 of Nigeria. Great. 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 Give me an idea. Where do you think we should start from? Hmm? I am actually interested. So we are not reading this afternoon. I'm going to open the line. Right? And you have a chance. You have a chance to let me know that your beautiful idea of how to save. Where do you think we should start from? Specifically. I will be back. Don't go anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm still here. Fantastic. How are you this morning, sir? 
you're doing wonderful. Thanks for the Thank you so much, Mr. Mayego. I mean, you can't, oh my God, I just can't imagine how you sit and you come out with all these things. Oh my God, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, I mean, imagine Nigerians are on social media talking about David Doe and Ishama wedding. Why? Oh my God. Louis, Ah, no, 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 no. no. I don't know what to say because you know, be me, we kill people in Shane, you know, celebrating the compare. Oh, I should do Look at the clothes she wear. Look at what they do. Oh, that's so cute. And people are dying every day and suffering. Ah, man. No empathy whatsoever. They just see in that country, just go. It's not suffering and smiling no more. It's dead body, they walk. And be that. That's what's happening in Nigeria. They are dropping dead every day. And you are called, so worried about celebrities. I don't give a damn about you. Yeah, uh, they watch uh, the people who are part and parcel of uh, what is wrong with them display and flaunt all of uh, their wealth and they love it yes i mean i, yes. saw, I saw them there they somebody were talking about ah oh, mama, money good though ah oh, mercy, money ah anything you do for life you need to get money oh ah, money is good i was like see and you know she help oh. they were even they were praying for david do i see david do have done something good in their life <laughs> i mean you know some people you know to you are wrong you know it is what it is the Kenyans are there protesting against criminality. One pound, one one bar. When you bonnet me, I'm a sucker kill. Please, I don't want to die. I don't. When you are, you not gonna die. Wow. Well, let me let somebody else call. Thanks so much. Yeah, Thank you. It. Everyone can do the same, right? You can call in and let out what you are actually feeling inside there. Okay, and that is why it is called the brunch time with uh, Mayogu. Here is another caller. Hello. Uh, Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Buy, buy me a coffee link on. Oh, yeah, era coffee. Yeah, all right. How are you, Idris? Somebody said I should bring it up. Fine, sir. Fine, sir. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Hello? Yeah, Idris. Sorry. Please. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, brother. Yes. Yes, sir. I was even trying to call yesterday, but I wasn't able to get through. So I said, oh, today I'm going to at least find my way through. Did, yeah. This um, is now you. Firstly, I will, I would like to talk about um, the revolution that is taking on in um, uh, Kenya. I would have loved it to just come to Nigeria like that because there are people actually dying silently. And if you try to make a voice, they are going to clamp down on you. But I believe that they are, no, they, are not, they are not even much at all. We are much more than them. We are very much more than them. If we can just governize our conscience, all these um, articulators, the Abu Bakr, the everybody, we should just come together as one and we should fight this monster. Okay, now I'm going to uh, pick more scenarios on what happened yesterday at um, this... this um, um she did a be um sorry uh chioma wedding as no, no, no. yes okay let me just talk about number one the ethnicity part of it now david is a yoruba person chioma is a hebrew person right. now they are united now the politician will not see this now all these articulators all yeah, these barbarians all these all these all these they are not going to see that the, moment, the, the issue of their lives comes up and the ego, Yoruba, no. and that. Mm. No, even even I saw the video where um uh, the where the uh, president's son, I've forgotten his name, he came around. They were all jubilating. They were all they, yes, they were all jubilating now. But when it once it starts with election now, that is when they will know that Igbo they are not they are part of they are not part of them. Exactly. Like that, that is that because no ah I'm talking about everybody ah ni la daru. Now that we should think now, ah, we... some people will bring out a cutlass. Ah, hey, we don't want we we don't want we don't want everywhere. We are up on, we are just managing it. That's why we have you know, throw one trade, one one throw one. Now yes. everybody, up on new one, up on new one. Come on, 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 come on
but our control has to keep mouth and has to keep mutiny. So another thing I was, I was talking about is look at the way they um or the, the uh, how they are the, the, the spraying money. I won't call, they are coming. They are, oh, it, it is dollar now. EFC don't go after dollar. Now they are spraying money, Abby. But they, they kept some people, although I, I'm not even concerned because the lefty team has uh, do, do not do not die in their work. So um um publicity, publicity can be publicity can be in prison, but um Kubana or what's his name can be spraying money, can buy his way. And he, there's nothing like justice in the country. That is another another perspective. The third perspective is look, you can see how everybody is dying of hunger, and you can see how they are lavishing money. And it's a people who say only country, who say one country, until we all we all think, we all think. Now, all three yesterday, VI everywhere was just blocked just because of some some top, some top people they are celebrating. And yet, what I also just I can see some some soldiers they were beating up some people just because they want to take a glimpse of what is happening. Do you also see the video, Idris? That's my own highlight of. Uh... Uh, the Chioma Davido day yesterday, as beautiful as it was, because me, I don't have anything like that. Okay, so to me, that's their beautiful day, beautiful couple. And what is that beautiful day? I don't want however, to talk much about that. Hang on, however, outside, apart from the ones you said it from inside, the display of wealth, the flash, and all of that, it's me. I saw videos of, oh my dear, more or less like uh, the same set of people that stopped people from. Uh, Voting or those who said you must vote for APC in Lagos, the Agbiros, the thugs, they were in their own <laughs> threads outside. Oh, of course, no. Of course. The guests that arrived, <laughs> hailing them, <laughs> asking for <laughs> money, and all of them. <laughs> and we're <laughs> there. Huh? How us? You know, Joe, you said the Reno. You said the Reno. There is every damn for you to do. There is every damn for you to do. But, oh, long, no, God. Let's huh? speak out of that. Oh, Idris. <laughs> God, thank you. Ah, okay. Somebody go. All right, sir. All right, sir. Have a good one, brother. Yeah. Take it easy. Oh. That is so true. That's what I picked out of the whole show. Like I said, it is not to kind of a diss them. Okay, I know a lot of you have different feelings towards how you know people react to that, but it's just people they will react. Okay, uh, I have danced to the, the videos and music unconsciously. I mean, I said unconsciously, <laughs> like I've danced to his music subconsciously, like that, right. Whereby I'm just like, oh, that's a good tune. Oh, that sounds like, uh, what's that? I said, Davido. Davido, like, that's good. But let's leave out how we feel generally and take, taking it off on them, okay? I wouldn't blame them anyway. But that doesn't stop you from reacting the way you want to react. And all the Nigerians just thought that that's fine, okay? But this that I saw yesterday, apart from the display of wealth and all of that, okay, was the fact that everyone could see everything that is wrong with us as a people and those of them who mostly are also from that uh you know this uh had their backgrounds until they hit fame or hit money and the rest of the world make money from politics and all that right some of them saw those people so me i was seeing those abuse running after every car all i mean they bad do everybody running i'm talking about whenever those Arriving guests have to like uh, drive for like let's say uh 10 15 meters space. Woo, they were running, praising them, asking for money. These were the same people. They were stopping people from voting for OB in Lagos. Those who said Igbo should not vote in Lagos, or if you look like Igbo. But they were there begging, puzzling, they called it. That was my own highlight. I don't know about you, so up here. Hello. Hello, my dear. Ah, Irumo How are you? Good afternoon, my brother. How are you, my dear? First, as usual. Oh, my children. How is it? How are they doing? Everyone's fine. Happy birthday to my to that my young man that I did very busy that day. I know. I, I won't call him, I just did busy. So I thank you for your good job. They are nice. And I have to pray. The point is only Tabangunyo Ninodo. Any my you are you? And it's you, you, you. 
and to a and to my dear How on earth will people come out and master like that under the rain just to attend? Fine. But I'm not against anybody celebrating that day. God knows my heart, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm happy for them, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm talking about all this, my useless Nigerian brothers and sisters who don't even go on. Because they are so useless. If they are not useless, tomorrow they will be telling you, ah, uh, raise me 5K, raise me 10K. If you spam me, but they have, but uh, urgent to care, urgent to but they can afford to enter transport from wherever location they are down to that place inside the rain, buy that from their phone, start taking pictures, start uploading all those things all over social media. If the Kenyan people are building that way, Baba. What is happening in Kenya in the last how many days now will not happen. I so much love the Kenyan people. I stood by them. I wish I'm a Kenyan. You understand me? Because why? But that is the only way eh, you can test all these evil leaders. Me, I call them evil. They are all evil men and evil women. That is the only way. You can tell them that enough is enough. You understand me? But you see, our Nigerian brothers, I'm not against them all. They are celebrating you know, the same way they did. See what happened in Noju Deoba. People are dying. That same Oju Deoba that they are celebrating, they are spending money. Like, between me and you, there are people that will lost their life that day. There are people that will go kidnap along that road that will be here. Along that as long as it's long that celebrating. Well, but once it doesn't affect them, you won't, yeah, you won't hear it anywhere. You know what I mean? Because they are going there, they have their e-logs, they have their mofo and so they guiding them. But why is it that we Mustin, Eh? We can see like 10, 10,000 people coming out in this kind of condition. Actually, that is Nigeria. A friend of mine just came back from Nigeria three days ago. He was telling me eh, that if you buy something, you can buy something, you can buy Only I want to share with you. Who come? Only who come? Baba, well, is that not expensive? Baba, no. Baba, expensive. Baba, all on. Baba, all on. Lo cheap. You on the gun lance. All on one. Ya wole. All on will believe. Five k, ten k. Into the king. Into the b. Baba, all on. Wash and no one. Thank you so much. All on. Baba, wash you. And all on. My book, book, book. And so, but uh, uh, my the last but not the least, let me pass this message. All these uh, Lagos above back, I hope they will come out when David and Choma have their children. And tomorrow, if Nigeria is still existing, you know, and maybe David son or David Doe, I want to come out and contest the Lagos. I hope they will not say, ah, his mother is from Ibo. His father is a Yoruba. No, 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 no. So come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, come on. Know going to be, they are pushing him to be a senator in so 2027. You know that. Mm. Okay. 
In fact, that is why they Baba. invested so much in this marriage too. But like I said, Baba, I don't, to don't worry. About, so let's uh, uh, Baba, it. don't worry. It is happen for Nigeria. Are you with me? So Abido won't contest for elections in uh, Lagos State now. It's going to be a show, and he's already been prepped to be a, either a senator or a rep. In fact, they're actually pushing him to be a senator. Just so you know now, and then in case. He's qualified as a young guy, but he's uh, totally uh, unintelligent when it comes to public and none of this other than, you know, the usual. When it comes to the Nigerian uh, system, right, he fits in very well. There's nothing all those uh, rogues who are in there right now are doing that he can't do. Tell me what they, they are doing that he can't do. All he has to do is to appear and say he's a senator. That's it. And he will add uh, maybe party time to his, making it uh, more fun. Uh, I had a time, but it is Nigeria. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello, man. How are you? Good morning. I wasn't even sure that you picked up the call. I have. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for your talk this morning. As usual, very, very expository. I was just looking at lagos and the the rain and the filth and the disgust i said this is the tinubu's bragging rights mega the mega city. mega city <laughs> this is what he brags about this is what he says that he has done for lagos and he beats his chest that you know he's such a a, a maverick That's when it comes to governor um governorship look at lagos disgusting dirty filthy you know, I don't even know where to start from. It was just like, because this is the land of my birth. That was where I was born. That was where I grew up. So I know what Lagos was before Tinubu came and, you know, spread his evil tentacles all over it. You know. Millions of Naira, 25 years after, Lagos is worse. Except Lagos is worse of rich. So rich that they own islands inside the Lagos. Inside that same Lagos, you know. That's the truth. Um, this Davido and the uh, Chioma uh, business, you know, I think Nigerians, a lot of the Nigerian elites have perfected the art of telling Nigerians to F you. Yes, and they don't even know that they're being told that they should F off, right? You come in a country where you know, see, I'm not saying, I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. He's a, you know, for those people who listen to Davido and everything, he's a fantastic uh, musician, he's you know he's doing his he's doing his passion, right? But what I would respect is people who who with their passion are able to, you know, empathize with the the people, you know. And I know that he's never going to do that because he is part of the establishment, whether you want to agree with it or not. He's part of the establishment, so he's never there. There will never be a point in time where he's going to shut up and say you know, do right by these people because saying do right by these people is him telling his own people, right? It's him standing and then they will remind him, you know, where he's, uh, where he's, um, how do they put the, the hand that feeds the, don't bite the hand that feeds the, I forgot how they say it, you know. Like they will say, don't, do not, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't, don't forget your source, by the way. Don't get, don't exactly. overgrown uh, your own, uh, you know, Creator, so to say, you know. Yeah, they will remind him. They will remind, remind him where him. he's already. They will, they will give him his origin stories, and because he knows his origin stories, he's never going to be able to stand, you know, against them. It's going to take, you know, somebody with balls and courage to say, you know what, enough of this nonsense. Okay. And he is not about to do it. But, and how do I know he's not about to do it? That wedding that they did in Nigeria, the way they did it in Nigeria, is a massive F you to the people. In case they don't know, all of those people running around, you know, putting their their what they call it their wedding videos and everything and commenting and all the time. And truly, somebody said it yesterday. When you go to, I think it was Martinelli, when you go to some of these, even just to pick a random, you know, uh, random YouTuber, you know, around any of these social events in Nigeria, you see thousands and thousands of people viewing and commenting. And I'm like, look at my ego, telling you your story, telling you what you need to do to get out there and do something and change the trajectory of your life. Nobody is here. You know, nobody's here. 
Look at Kenya. Because Look at people no dying. Data, listening to someone because, who tells them that nobody's coming to help them, they would have to do it themselves. So they would so have you to do so, other things that kind of take their mind away from their trouble. Yeah, so it's, Nigerians it's are perfecting they are perfecting the art of escapism. They're escaping into a world and only for them to return back into that same... Because, yes, you can escape for how many minutes, but you still have to come back and so Gary, you can find Gary to, to stop. No Is it not? You still have to, you still have to, you know, come out of that, you know, that world that you escaped into to still come and find out that, listen, the price of tomato has not changed. In fact, it got worse while you're escaping into another person's uh, universe, by the way, right? So people, we just need to, you know, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say. People talk about, oh, you know, is literacy. Is it? You were showing a Kenya woman speaking, she wasn't speaking English. She wasn't speaking, she was speaking her native language. They understand the impact of IMF on their lives. And they're saying they don't want it. So education is not a problem. Is that Nigerians have become docile, you know? And now, we, you know, again, let me touch on Dangote. Can we just all agree that this man is a failed businessman? He hasn't, without he's not a businessman. Without the national pause, he is not a businessman. Forget it. He's not a businessman. He's just a charity case. Mm. You know, somebody who the government keeps on giving money to to cover his failures. Now the what they call it, the refinery is on fire. And like you rightfully said, you know, somebody said, Oh, somebody they're sabotaging, they're not sabotaging him. He's he's doing it himself. That fire, they set it themselves because one, that refinery is not about to do anything. Not even in the 20, 2026 that is projected. Not even any time soon is that refinery supposed to do anything. It was supposed any to start meaningful... work next month to July again. Uh -huh. That's what I say. You know, they said by July it was going to start uh, production. I say how? Now the fire. Uh -huh. So that means now the July. fire has started. You know, like there's there's so many inconsistencies in this in this contraption, right? And like you said, I don't think there's anybody with a you know right thinking brain that will call in and come and tell you how to save the country. The no, problem with Nigeria... Stop. I'm waiting for them. You know, some of them no, always, but... crawl, they don't always crawl out, right? After we're all gone from here, they will start dropping and they... advices. Now, I am here live. Let's start. So not... One of them even said, My... he said, let me say this, uh, Chan. Yeah. It was one of these uh, weirdies here, yeah, possibly watching me, right? He said, so if you break up Nigeria now, all these people, that are one Nigerian is, and they are part of your new country. Are you going to stop them from breaking away as well if they want to? Since since you don't break away, you are Biafra, Abi. Now, if those people now say they don't want to be Biafra again, they want to be another country, are you going to stop them? Like, you see? You see what we're talking about? Hmm? I beg, that one is, it, uh, that's uh, what they, they that's not to to that question. Me, so, you know, they always come here. The, the whole idea is that, listen, let us all just do our best and make this one work. Okay, no, so if you break up, there's no, now, eh? it's gonna break again. No. That wants to go break again. Allah, let's break it first. Let's break it first. Or let's you call me and tell all, me where to know? start from fixing Nigeria. Don't stay behind this, your this, keypad, pick up this, your phone this, and call me and tell me where to start. My ego, hmm? my ego. I mean, you've been doing this for a while, you've been yes. doing this for a long time. Yes, you know that first of all, Nigeria cannot carry on with it, whatever this is, cannot carry on because. It is beholden to the wrong people. It is beholden to a lot of criminals, criminals home and abroad. You know, criminal, the criminal establishment, the criminals inside. That entity is beholden to too many criminals. And that is one reason why it should be broken. That's why, it, because so that all of those tentacles that are holding it, right? You kind of like, you, you know, neutralize it just by breaking up the, breaking up the country, first of all, right? And then anybody who is saying, okay, other entities will break up. If they want to break up, let them break up. Do you understand? Let them break up. At least they will have precedence of how to run a nation, for goodness sake. Nobody is saying that, you know, we have to be bound together and everything. We can do it. On, what is this fear, sir? What is this fear that, oh, we cannot do it on our own? We can do it on our own. We can do it by ourselves if we want to. It doesn't take, it's not rocket science. We're not asking you to solve world hunger. We're just asking you to do basic good governance, which if you are a father in your own house, you do on a daily basis, unless you're a bad one. You know, and then nobody, if you're a bad one, nobody's going to be entrusting anything to you anyway, no right? Because people are going to have to agree and say, okay, we want such and such. There'll be criteria to choose leaders. There'll be criteria to choose people who will be, you know, who will be in strategic places. And trust like, me that- they, You know that, something, Cham, right? A country that doesn't give you the right to choose your leader is not treating you as a citizen. You are just a slave. There's no pretense about it. Nigerians can't choose their leaders, no doubt. 
Even we when don't, they put up Shade to pretend to want to, we all know listen, that. So how come do you, you want know to that, hold on to that? Why do they want to hold on to that? There are some things I don't even say again. You know, when I talk about citizenship, even when people call me and we talk about citizenship, I say, you're not a citizen. Nigeria is not a real place. It's not a real country. You know, but when you have a real country, then you can start defining citizenship without the, that within that country, within that entity. Nigeria is not a real place. It has never been a real place. It's just something coupled together for the benefit of others. You know, it was never for the benefit of the indigenous people of that region. It's for the benefit of a few and, and the establishment, right? And like we've already said, right? It is beholden to too many criminals. It is beholden to too many, you know, evil influences. It ought like this is the logical conclusion. Now, Cham, this, this is beyond, yeah, beyond, beyond corruption, right? It's like Just it's like beyond, it's like they can't gang against their people mercilessly. This is criminality. It's not even just corruption anymore. This is not right. It's not and it is a kind of it is a criminal madness or you know madness of criminality that is going on in Nigeria because. I mean, you are seeing the country walk backwards. Yeah. Look at that person that you showed in River State. Look at the building around him, shanty. You know, just it looks like you know you're, you're in a country where there, there's just no planning, no nothing. Just, just came out of rubbish. And you know, that just came out of. In fact, you know, people will just assume that this is the first time people are seeing uh, any kind of uh, what they call it. They're seeing advancements of, of people who are advanced. Like, this is the first, their first interaction with, you know, yeah. advanced people, like right? Because the civilization. The coming to civilization, thank you, right? Look at all the mess. Look at this, you know, and you have leaders in today, 2024, almost walking our way into the 20, 22nd century, yeah. right? And we are still backward, behind, you know, everything. Listen, I don't know if there's anybody out there that wants to defend this. Uh, entity, please don't call in. Don't don't call in and come and de defend. It's I independent. You want them to, you know. Sometimes, right? You will look at people. They are better off. You can see someone say, "Oh my God, this person looks so calm, composed." They also look exposed as well as uh, intelligent until they open their mouth. Exactly. Until they open their mouth, and you know, sometimes you can forgive people for maybe not having the information, right? But when they open their mouth and you even listen and you know that they have information but they are choosing choosing to carry on in this their you know delusion right then you know there's no hope for this person and, they, and in fact it's in your best interest not to interact with such a person before you start before maybe their madness rubs off on you so you just have to distance yourself before you, you get know? contaminated See, before child. you get contaminated so let me let me let me go so that other people can call in so i'll see you again then all right you have a good one okay so, uh, thank you, my gentleman. That's a charm. Okay. Hang on. No. My oh, did I just miss that? Hey, did I miss that? Sorry about that. Oh, it's like when you have a two, three calls jammed together and then you're like trying to select which one and then boom, boom. It's unfortunate. Sorry about that. So, if I kind of uh, dropped your call, so, I hear that call, though. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. I do. I do. Baba, hang in there yes. for a second, okay? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we only have just about uh, 20 minutes to go, or maybe 25 minutes max. So if you haven't really liked the broadcast, I advise you do that now before you forget. And if you haven't shared it too, so let's yes. listen to our caller. Hello. Hello, my good general. You're doing a good show. Thank you, sir. I'm not a big pay, but at the same time, I'm on the queue. 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 Olo gbadura for long to ba pada wale ko ni se nkan ma darumo a ma se dada ko se ta won nigeria won emi awon yi o won ti fun 90 billion won ti na tan so ikan to to wa wa nbe ni pe won se conference won ni about 3 4 days ago and they are still talking in castina while he was there and one guy was lamenting that they didn't do anything for the fulani why can't he ask Mbwari sitting down there? He have Babangida phone number, he have Obasanjo phone number, he have everybody's phone number that will ask. I'm not supporting Tunumbu. 
Nigeria is not working if we never work. If they come, if they give them nine trillion to go to next Mecca or to go to Jerusalem, that's not the problem of Nigeria. But Nigeria have to divide. If they divide Nigeria, everybody will tackle their place.